Gargoyle's eating, Gargoyle's eating his bone, and now he's looking outside. Hey guys, it's Monday morning and Lonnie and I just got done doing a live stream. We haven't done that in a while, but it was a lot of fun hanging out with all you guys. And we're going to try to do it periodically. This virus has a lot of people stuck at home. They can't go out and really do anything. So we thought it'd be fun to kind of hang out with you guys. Just talk shop and take our minds off of this stuff for a little bit. So if you want to check out future live streams, I think half the time we're going to be doing it on my channel and half the time we'll do it on his probably his shed flips channel so i'll put a link down in the description if you guys are not already subscribed to shed flips which i bet you probably are so hopefully you guys can hang out with us now i've got about 20 orders that sold over the weekend on ebay so let's get to work all right first two things going out i pulled both of these from storage um this is a phillips um portable cd player sometimes these can do okay usually the sony ones are the ones you want to sell this one only sold for $6.99 plus shipping. These right here are um, wound dressings. There are, I think, four of them new in the packaging. I got these at that estate sale maybe like three weeks ago. I've only got a dollar into all four, and they sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is an E1. This is a Dale Earnhardt Daytona 500 car. This was part of that bulk buy I just made from Jim. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Okay, I sold quite a few Matchbox and Hot Wheel cars, and I've got three bins of them, so we're going to pull all these out and just try to pull them all at once. Okay, the first order of cars is two individual cars and then two different lots. And it looks like a few of them are in F7. So we've got four trucks and a mobile crane. Let's see here, we've got these and this one. Okay, so those four. And then we got a lot of six as the fire engines and stuff. Okay, and then we've got a Mercedes-Benz, an F8. That's this guy right here. And also an ambulance. All right, so we've got a total of six, 10, 12 cars all together. These all sold for $42.96 plus shipping. Okay, next buyer has three different lots. Let's see here. First is three Lamborghinis. So we got two. There's the third one. And then a cement truck right here. These four sold for $17.98 free shipping. And then there's a tow truck that he also bought. Right here, this sold for $7.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing we're going to B3. These are five Rawlings baseballs. These sold for $44 plus shipping. Those are going out to your name, Carl, who asked me to look for Mets stuff for him because he's a Mets fan. So, Carl, thank you for the business, and I'll keep an eye out for some Mets stuff. Okay, next order has a couple things. First is an F3. It is a Matchbox case right here. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is an A1. The old Matchbox tractor that sold for $8.99 plus shipping. And in that same bin, they got these four vintage Matchbox cars. He sold for $17.99 plus shipping. I would just combine these all into one order and refund him the difference for shipping. Those are all going out to a viewer who is a repeat buyer named Steve. Steve, thank you for all the support, man. I really appreciate it. Okay, while we're in this bin, we are going to pull this other Matchbox case right here. This one also sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing is in a bin that I was just working in. It is a battery. Here it is. This is a uh, Panasonic camcorder battery. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next is a hat. This is a vintage Atlanta Braves hat. Got it at a garage show for a dollar. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is down to B6. It is an American Girl doll toy. Um, I honestly don't remember where I got this. I want to say it was at our house, just hanging around in the basement for some reason. But either way, it sold for $11.99 free shipping. All right, next is down an E6. Sold one of these Buck Bomb things. I got maybe 10 or 15 of these for like 50 cents a piece. I thought they'd sell closer to like $10, but they just haven't been doing that well. Uh, somebody sent me an offer of $4.75 free shipping, and I took it just to kind of get some money back. I think after fees and shipping and everything, uh, I'll probably break even on this. Sold a book. This is an old Swiss Family Robinson book. Um, part of that lot of stuff I just bought 
with the toys and cards and all that stuff. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next are some coasters. I wrap these up to protect them in the bin. Um, these I had for maybe six months or so. They've got a cool mid-century look to them. I had them listed for like 30 or best offer. Somebody sent me best offer of $20 plus shipping and I accepted. All right, next is a light fixture. This guy right here. Um, I got this clearance down retail arbitrage for about five bucks or so and this might be the last one really made much money on them somebody sent me an offer of 750 plus shipping and i accepted let's go ask if you were named joanne who sent a note with the purchase she says this is the second of these that i've gotten from you this month my shed is being delivered tomorrow and once i get it finished out this will be a great additional lighting thanks for the channel i love watching it and have learned so much joanne with flipping the ozarks joanne thank you for the support and wish you the best of luck with the shed I got a question on one of my videos. This is from Steve. He asks, John, I'm curious on how your photo area is set up, size and materials used. Thanks. All right, so here's my photo setup. Um, it's not anything fancy, but it gets the job done. I just have a six foot folding table and then I have um, a big piece of vinyl. Um, I like vinyl because I can clean it up. You know, if it gets dirty, it's easy to clean. I've actually had this piece for a while and I think I've already flipped it once or twice so i might get a new piece and they're really not that expensive you can get vinyl for pretty cheap i just used the white painted wall it's got some scuffs and stuff but the lights usually just blow that out to where they don't really show up in the pictures i used to have big lights that sat on the floor like the umbrella style but those were a pain i got rid of those a couple years ago they just took up too much space i saw lonnie garage flips using these led panel lights so I bought these like two years ago and they have served me very well. Unfortunately, nobody sells them anymore. You can't even find them. I've had a few people ask me and I can't find them anywhere. So I don't know where to look for those, unfortunately, but I have seen some similar LED panel lights and these just do a great job. They have a ton of light and they really don't take up that much space at all. They just have maybe like a you know 12 by 12 footprint on the table and they work great for me. It's Tuesday morning and I've got about a dozen orders to ship out. First is in D2. This is a trucker hat, Vandenbos or Vanderbos sheet metal in Michigan. This sold for $7.99 plus shipping. That's going out to a viewer named Jake and he sent a message with the purchase. He says, huge fan of the channel. I'm a full-time musician from Arkansas and love wearing vintage hats while performing. We'll definitely be making more purchases in the near future. Thanks. Jake, thank you, man. And send me a link to uh, any kind of music you've got on YouTube, Spotify, whatever. I'd love to take a listen to it. Okay, next is in C1. And I sold another metal mailbox topper. Uh, this one also sold for what the last one sold for, $12.99 plus shipping. And I think I've only got like two of these left. And this is going to a viewer as well. You guys have been spoiling me with purchases lately. This is going to Russell. Russell, thank you for the business, man. It means a lot. Okay, next thing's down here in F6. Actually, I think a couple things that are here sold. First is these two Hot Wheels garages, supercharger garages. Um, these weren't worth a lot by themselves, so I decided to just lot them up. The pair sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Correction, uh, I did not catch it. Um, eBay defaulted to free shipping on this, and I didn't catch it in time. So these are going out free shipping. i got to be more careful. I talked about it in a video a few days ago that eBay seems to be defaulting free shipping on like everything I list. So I've got to be more careful and just a heads up to you guys whenever you list. Just maybe when you get the first thing you do, just go down to shipping and make sure it's not defaulted to free because I'm probably not going to make hardly anything on those after I ship them out. Okay, the other thing in this bin that sold is this old toy tractor. This was part of that bulk buy I made last week. And as you can tell, the condition is just horrible. Uh, this wheel is already off and broken. This wheel has fallen off, just in really bad shape. The bones of it are okay. You know, like the tractor itself and the little guy and everything. And this thing is super rare. Very few of these have sold in the last few years of this particular one. This is an Aulis Chalmers Arcade. It has a sticker there. Uh, Model 374, which is what this writing is down here. And one's in good condition. We're selling, you know, around 250 to 300. I listed mine for 150, and it sold the same day. And buyer did pay shipping on this one. Okay, next is in B1. This is an old Popples coin bank uh, I just recently picked up. 
I might have only a couple bucks into this. It was part of a bulk buy. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And it's going to ask if your name's Steven. Steven, thank you for the support. I hope you like this. Sold a Pez dispenser. This little guy, this one's kind of rare. Um, so police officer, and as I pointed out in a previous video, he does not have feet. So the old ones don't have feet, and some of those can be worth some good money, like this one right here. This sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Sold a card game. This is called Timeline. I actually own this, and I just found another one, and it is a really fun game. Uh, it's pretty simple. You just draw cards, and this is music and cinema, so you've got like Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band album, uh, the movie Jaws, the song My Heart Will Go On. Each one has a year, and you have to play the card between the years, not knowing what year it is. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty fun game, and it's I think it's discontinued, so that's why it's worth a little bit of money. This sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Sold some slide rules. I got a huge collection of slide rules at an estate sale probably like nine months ago. And I've, I think I've pretty much sold through all of them now. And I have a couple left. These are a lot of five, not very valuable ones. These sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, we are getting near the end. Um, I just listed these last night. I've been taking some Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars home to list them because they're kind of small and easy to list. This is a lot of 24. These sold for $23.99 plus shipping and the same buyer got some ferraris uh, these right here so there's one two three four of them and for these he paid 11.99 plus shipping so i will just combine these with the other ones and refund him the difference of shipping all right another car sold out of f7 it is a green street car where is it at here we go street rotor this sold for 9.99 plus shipping I sold a Scrabble game right down here. This is the Deluxe Edition. This one's from the 80s, and the box is in rough shape, and it did not have all the maroon tiles. It was missing three maroon tiles, so I made sure to put that in the title and the description, and I think that hurt the value a little bit. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, something sold out of this bin right here I was just working in yesterday. This Riverfront Synergy Field Stadium turf piece um this is also something i screwed up on missed the uh the free shipping that was automatically put on and i would have put plus shipping but um that's what it defaulted to and it sold for 24.99 plus shipping i'm sorry it sold for 24.99 free shipping got some viewer mail today i wanted to show you guys this is from cedric he says hey john found these cars in north carolina they don't belong down here i guess you're the only one I know in Ohio. Thanks for all you and Lonnie do. Keep picking. And he sent these Cincinnati Reds cards. Thank you, Cedric. I appreciate it. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.